Well, hi guys, it's Ray Glasser in Las Vegas with a very short letter for you just to show you what uh, my situation is here and the kind of place that I'm living in. This is of course being done on my Super VHS camera and it'll be dubbed beta or VHS, whatever format I decide to give this to you on. But this is going to my friend Dave in Columbus, my friend Carrie in Orlando, and anybody else that might want to see this tape and wind up seeing it. Just to show you the kind of circumstances that I'm in here in Las Vegas. Actually, I'm going to show you the apartment that I'm going to show you. This is being done on Sunday, May the 15th of 1994, from my little bedroom here in my friend's apartment in Las Vegas. And uh, I thought I'd just kind of show you my setup here and my arrangement. This is the last day I'll be without Mickey, thank God. I really miss her. I've never been away from her, from her for two weeks before. And she started really giving me a big feeling of emptiness. I'm not, I'm not used to this at all. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit heavier than you've probably seen me before. I'm back eating corned beef again. And it's, it's rough, but what, what can I say? Uh, I'll eventually get this camera inside the stage deli as well and show you my working conditions as well as my living conditions. So I'm going to make a quick edit here and we'll go on to a little tour of my apartment and my setup here in Las Vegas. Camera, taping yourself. So here I am, what can I say? Uh, I figured we start off with the hell in the bathroom. This is a medicine chest over here. This is the bathroom that is actually adjacent to my bedroom. So I actually, for the first time in my life, have my own bathroom, so to speak, with a shower stall, which is over here. No big deal, but uh, this is the bathroom. And this is the bedroom. And this is my setup. This is very, very uh, bizarre. <laughs> this is the little 20 inch Sharp TV that I actually had shipped here from Cleveland about a week before I left for Vegas. It's my only TV set. Over here are my two SL1000 Betas. Uh, one I shipped, the other I brought with me in a suitcase. And here's the box I used to ship that one. Uh, this guy has no furniture whatsoever in this room, so I'm really doing a makeshift deal here. Uh, they're sitting on a box. Here's my computer. Yeah, I know, Carrie, you can gag when you see this, right? Here's the old Atari, but uh, it does the job. There's the modem and the disk drive. Uh, I have an AB switch going to this, one side for the computer, one side from the Betamax going into my TV set. So as you can see, I have to sit on the floor when I type. It's really, really barbaric. <laughs> I hope to get out of this situation pretty soon because it's, it's killing me. For, go to a whole house to one room. Carrie, I know how you felt when you got divorced and this was your whole setup. Uh, I had to buy a rabbit ear TV antenna because the local channels on cable come in so terrible with hum bars and diagonal lines and stuff. I just had to buy an antenna. So now instead of diagonal lines, I got a ghost. All the channels come in with a ghost. I still can't win. <laughs> so what can I say? Let's walk to the window and show you the view outside. Yes, that is indeed a pool down there. Yeah. And there are some bathing beauties here once in a while, which is a nice sight to wake up to. I'll show you the apartment house in a second. That's the view outside my window. But we'll get to that later on. Take you outside the balcony. Uh, Dave, you would like this. A good old-fashioned wooden rocking chair. I already broke one of the sides. This is one end table. It's called the box that your TV got shipped in. There's the old bed, and over there is the bathroom. I even had to buy this lamp because <laughs> this guy had nothing here. I'm not kidding. Okay, let's walk this way. Here's the front door. That's, that's thrilling, right? And here's the living room, which is kind of nice. He has to set up kind of nice. Very plain, very simple. There's the balcony, which we'll go out on a second and look around. Over here is something I thought I'd never see in Vegas, a fireplace, which they, of course we'll never need. Here's my friend Craig's TV. It's about a 1960 Magnavox. It's the kind that hotels have because it's got an AM FM radio down there. There's his VCR, which is uh, Tashi or something, a very El Cheapo set. Uh, Dave, you would like this. Got no, no counter or anything, just a clock. There's the cable box. Yes, it's a Pioneer. Wait a second, let's live on. Let's use our 96.1 zoom to go in there and fill the screen. It's a Pioneer cable box. Okay. There we go. And over here is the kitchen, which is kind of nice. Here's the dining area with one of these deals above it. Very plain, very simple. Got a lot of storage space here in the kitchen, plus, of course, a microwave and a dishwasher. And over here is his laundry room, complete with washer and dryer, which is real, real nice. 
Don't have to worry. Don't worry. Have to worry about washing clothes or anything because we have it right here in the kitchen. That's kind of nice. Let's go out in the balcony and show you what it looks like from outside. I, of course, I'm never out here. It's just too blessed and hot. There's a pool and a jacuzzi. And this is what it looks like from outside. This is my view. There's like 18 buildings in this complex just like this. Right now it's probably raining in Cleveland and Columbus, but here it's sunny, hot, and nice. And we'll go back inside the apartment now. And now we're back inside. Looking at it from right in front of the doors. You can sneak in and show you the master bedroom, which is uh, a lot bigger than mine, of course. And back to the kitchen again. So that's about it. That's my living conditions here in Vegas. And uh, like I said, compared to what I'm used to having a house, it's little taking a little time to get used to to uh, just going down to a bedroom and only two Betamaxes and only one TV. But uh, we'll get a house eventually. So I'm going to fade out for now. Hope that you guys enjoyed this little camera tape. Show uh, what it's like here. I haven't reset this clock for Vegas time yet. It's actually 6.03 p.m. So, as the hours and minutes tick away, we'll see you next time on video. So long for now.